Okay, uh, good afternoon everybody. Let's continue uh, our lesson. Please look at your book on page 46. Okay, 46. Listening and speaking. Foundation, uh, sorry, found in translation. Okay, yeah, found in translation. So look at here. One, read about Alan Dane. How does he get of uh, get the real life uh, stories for his program? Why do you think it is called Don Lock Off? Who returns? Uh, who features in this uh, program? How did they meet? Okay, Don Lock Off. Everyone, look at here. Okay, Don Lock Off. Alan Dane is an oral historian and broadcaster. Yeah historian and broadcaster so he works like uh, uh, someone who actually uh, gives news or information on TV or on radio okay so uh, here uh, also he's uh, is an expert in history too okay history yeah in his uh, BBC radio 4 program don't log off he discovered the real life uh, story uh, behind online profiles on Facebook. Starting with nothing but the profile, he contacts the people on the internet. The results are intriguing. Intriguing means very interesting, everyone. Funny and often very moving. Moving mean, mean very touching, very exciting, okay, moving. In this program, Alan hears the story of Brian from uh, Boyce, Ihao in the USA and, uh, and Anna from Russia who met online. Anna decided to move to the USA with her children. Will things work out? Okay. Work out mean happen. Okay. Yeah. Okay. So uh, you can now go to uh, number two. Yeah. Number two, tape script uh, 5.7. Listen to part one of the program. When Alan talks to Brian, he makes a comments aside to his radio audience, read some of his uh, asides, and answer the questions. Okay, yeah. So uh, can you now look at uh, number one to number six? Listen and then uh, answer the question, okay? Yeah. Please look at here. Uh, first, you read number one to number six, and then you listen and answer the question, okay? Yeah. Okay. Please spend like five minutes to read, and then uh, around 10 more minutes to listen and answer the questions. Okay. Now, listen, everyone. Here we go. TypeScript. Uh, 5.7, okay? Tape script 5.7 Don't log off with Alan Dine Part 1 Hello? Hello! Hello, is this Brian? Yes, this is Brian! Hi, how are you? I first spoke with Brian 18 months ago. I dedicate my lunch hour normally to uh, chat with my uh, girlfriend Anna that I met online. I was just browsing profiles in Russia, <laughs> and I stumbled across the most beautiful woman in the world. <laughs> but this was more than just a typical online romance. Do you speak Russian? No, I'm learning to speak Russian. And does Anna speak English? No, not yet. She's trying to learn English, too. <laughs> so I began to chat with her using uh, Google Translator. That's how the relationship continued. Brian and Anna relying on online translation to communicate. I say that you were both lost in translation, but in fact you're, you found each other through translation. This was the first of numerous conversations with Brian. Hello? Hello, Brian. The next time, he'd been to visit Anna in Russia. This uh, something, let me tell you. It took me over 24 hours just to get there. Did you feel that it all was exactly how you thought it would be in your mind? Oh, yes. The physical, spiritual, mental connection, everything was there. 
six months later. Hello? Hello, Alan. Ryan had some big news for me. We just decided we were going to get married and... Anna and her two children will be leaving Russia and moving to America. And the amazing thing is, this whole relationship is still relying on online translation. Neither Brian nor Anna speak each other's languages. She's left the only home she's ever known all her life, basically. Anna and her children were on their way. She's coming to a country where she's never been. She's never even been on an airplane before. I spoke with Brian at the airport on the night of their arrival. She should be here any minute. It it had to have landed. They were all going to come over on a three-month visa. There's some people coming up the escalator here. Anna has to get married to Brian within those three months. Otherwise, Anna and the children have to return to Russia. And I still don't see... You guys coming from New York? No. Ah, here she is! There she is! I missed her! <laughs> oh! I missed you too! Oh! <laughs> She's here! <laughs> Roya, this is a very special moment. Yes. Okay, well, she just told me to get off the phone. <laughs> so, Alan? Well, Brian, may I wish you good luck, and I look forward to catching up with you shortly. Okay. Uh, you can call me in the next few days, probably. And it was then that I had an idea. I was thinking it would be a wonderful experience to visit you and Anna in Boise, Idaho. Oh, wow. To see you in person and to kind of capture your life with Anna now. That would be, that would be, uh, that would be interesting, yes. <laughs> <laughs> but you never know, that might fit in to your wedding plans. Yes, I, I, th- I think it would be, uh, definitely uh, take it up to the next level. Brian set the wedding date for the 21st of September. And I booked the plane tickets so I could be there. But then, uh, I received a rather worrying message. Um, So this is really big news. Okay, so we finished this. Um, Now, can you please uh, read number one to number six? and try to answer the questions, okay? Yeah, answer the questions. Okay. Please do this one now. Right, now let's check the answer with me. Okay, so here, is the, here are the answers, everyone. Number one to number six, okay? Number one, they couldn't speak each other language. They communicate using Google Translate. ແລະຈຶ່ງກໍຈູຄືນັ້ນກໍອັດຈະຫຍັງຍີອ່າພິຊາຍັງຄູນສົງສາກໍອັດນັ້ນມັນໄສກໍອັດນັ້ນອັດ
uh, question number one to number five. Okay, and then listen now. Let's listen. Five point eight. Script 5.8 Part 2 This is really big news and the wedding that was planned for Saturday the 21st of September is now off. Hello! Brian, I got your message. Um, it's big news. It's uh, a little bit difficult, but uh, yeah. well, unfortunately we haven't made a lot of arrangements. Tell me how you both made the decision to postpone the wedding. I think the 21st was just a little bit too soon for her. <laughs> She's been through a lot. She came halfway around the world. She's only been here just about a month and a half now. Just a little shy of a month and a half. And I think maybe perhaps uh, things may not be as nice as she'd imagine. You know, what is the cutoff point, Brian? October twentieth, I think, would probably be the ninety-day cutoff. The clock is ticking, isn't it, Brian? Yes, and I, I, I hope that she doesn't have second thoughts. But wedding or no wedding, the plane ticket to be bought. Boarding the plane, I had no idea quite how this story would unfold. Fifteen hours later. And here I am, breathing Idaho air. Hi Anna, how are you? It soon becomes clear to me that it's not been easy for Anna in these first few months in the U.S. Right now, she really hasn't been anywhere by herself. She's always had me with her. So when you're at work? When I'm at work, she pretty much stays at home. Can you understand that? I can, I can understand. She has been through a big change. I don't want to add any stress <laughs> to her life. Okay, so we finished. Uh, now, can you look at the questions again and answer the questions? I give you uh, around ten minutes, and then uh, check the answers with me. Okay, ten minutes over. Now let's check the answer. So here are the answers. Number one, they have called off their wedding. I mean, cancel the wedding. Yeah, it's so sad, right? Number two, it was too soon for Anna, who has had to cope with being in completely new environment. Yeah. Number three, there is only a limited time for them to get married. Limited time in very little time. Okay. Number, yeah. So if you say the clock is ticking, it means you, you do not have a lot of time, okay? Yeah. Number four, he decided to fly over to USA on his original ticket. And number five, that she doesn't go anywhere by herself, mean alone, and just stays in the house when Brian is at work. Okay, thank you. So please check the answers and write the answers in your book. Let's go back now. Can you now, uh, oh sorry, yeah. Can you now please uh, look at here, okay, yeah. Uh, go straight to number four, yeah. Uh, type script 5.9, up on 5.9 now. Listen to part three, yeah, listen to part three. Say what happens, what is a long surprise? Tell it in your own words. So please try to listen and say what happens in the end, okay? And what is a long surprise, okay? Now, part three, everyone, let's uh, listen. Here we go. Yeah. Please wait. Wait, 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 wait. Please wait a bit, wait a bit. Okay, uh, part three, yeah, part three. 
I'm playing everyone. Please wait. Chăm tí nha. Ba xong tí. Okay. It's being played. Let's listen. Instrument 5.9. Part 3. What have you got in that bag, Brian? This is uh, our wedding ring. Brian and Anna are getting married. They've decided to go ahead with the wedding. But it's not quite the big day that Brian had originally planned. It's going to be a very low-key affair in the courthouse. It's all very casual. Both Anna and Brian are wearing jeans. It's an empty courtroom. The only people present at the wedding are Brian and Anna, Anna's eight-year-old son, Ivan, myself, my producer, and the interpreter. I promise, I promise to be true to, to you. To be true to you. In good times. And good times. And in bad. And in bad. And then Brian had a surprise for us. Alan Bean. Both myself and my producer Lawrence were called upon to be official witnesses at the wedding. I'm here. Yep. I can't quite believe that from a random Skype conversation almost two years ago that I'm now in Boise, Idaho, signing Brian and Anna's wedding certificate. There's my signature. You're all set. You're a witness. <laughs> a wedding that would never have taken place without the advent of online translation. <laughs> Alright, so we finished this one. Can you uh, try to do this, uh, this uh, exercise by uh, giving the answers? Say what happens? And what is Alang's surprise? Okay, yeah. Uh, I give you uh, ten minutes to try to listen again and find the answers. Okay, yeah. If you cannot follow it. If you cannot catch it up. You can go back and listen again. Okay. Okay. Now let's check your answers. Here we go. This is the answer, everyone. Yeah. So this is the answer. They get married in a low-key wedding. Yeah, so not, not a big one, yeah. Brian asked him to be an official witness at the wedding. Yeah, official witness, uh, someone who actually as the witness at the wedding. So Okay. Okay, so thank you everyone. Please try to learn. See you later.